guys, welcome to Whitey White Guys Show. I'm Whitey, this is Cracker. And today we're going to talk about the Kevin Smith Opus Dogma. Starring... Oh, God. Um, you, always put, you always put me on the spot for these. James. Kevin Smith, Jason Mewes, Alan Rickman, Chris Rock, Linda Fiorentino, mm -hmm. Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, George Carlin, Jason Lee, Three Ugly Kids, Yeah. Um, Selma Hayek, Right. And a shit demon. Yeah. Damn, did I get everybody? Just about the black guy from the other one. He played the gangster. Oh, yeah, the gay black dude from Chasing Amy. Yeah, whatever the fuck is. It don't matter. We're not going to look it up. Right. So, yeah, and uh, directed by Kevin Smith. Absolutely. Not only that, my God, this was like. Uh, my, do you agree? But this, is, he, this was his home run, his pinnacle. My, like, favorite, this was the best. my favorite is Mall Rats. Okay. But it's only beating out Dogma by that much. Yes. Only beating out Dogma by that much. I'm going to give him... I think I like Mallrats more because it's a little more goofy, a little more cartoony. Mm -hmm. But Mallrats, when he's being serious, like Chasing Amy, is a really good film for being serious. Dogma has comedic elements to it, but it's a very serious subject matter. Yeah. And he hits it out of the fucking park. He hit it out of the park. I mean, just... And I, I very first time I saw it, uh, my friends at the time were like, dude, have you seen Dogma? I'm like, no, what's Dogma? And then, like, you gotta watch this. And the only limit I have is, I wish they had been like, stop. He has to watch the other ones first. That's how I was introduced to yes. Dogma. I did not know about Jane Silent Bob. And, until... and oh my god, I would have been pooping my pampers if when Jane Silent Bob showed up, why well, would have answer it be like, oh, it's gonna be them, it's gonna be them. Yeah. And instead, I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't know. Right. So that's the one. I wish my friends had been better friends and been like, stop, he's at least got to watch Mulrads first. And but that doesn't take away from the film. Not at all. Oh, it no. just would have, it would have been yet a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But uh, every fucking, uh, let's, let's, how do we start it? Like, um, if you haven't seen, the fuck is your problem? Yeah. Basically, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon are angels that were cast out of heaven and forced mm -hmm. to live in New Jersey. Right? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. They're going to New Jersey. Right? Something New Jersey. Doesn't matter. And they finally find a loophole to get back into heaven. If mm -hmm. um, Basically, if they get back into heaven, they prove that God is infallible, and that will basically end it's, everything man, in existence. It's something you only, you got to... You don't fucking watch it because they explain it so much better. That's just, basically it, though. If yeah. they get back into heaven, it proves God is infallible, and it ends all of existence. Linda Fiorentino, I think I'm almost positive that's her name. Um, yeah, she's yeah. the main character. She is visited by Alan Rickman, who plays mm -hmm. the voice of God. Who is a angel? Metatron. Metatron, whatever. He's got wings. He has no genitalia. <laughs> He's an angel. Okay. Okay. Right, keep going. And. They go on the a quest. highest choir of angels. See there. See yeah. And they go on a quest to stop him. They meet Chris Rock, who is the thirteenth apostle, who was left out of the Bible because he was black. They meet Selma Hayek at a strip club because she, she's a stripper. She was a muse who yes. has writer's block. <laughs> um, um. Who else do they meet? Uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. And the whole time they're doing this, Jason Lee plays Azrael. Is that his name? Yes. And he's a demon who wants to help get um, Affleck and Matt Damon back into heaven. Yes. And Matt Damon and Affleck are going to get into heaven by entering a church that is just you know, rechristened or something like that. It's it's uh there's there's an arch. Okay. There's an arch. If you pass through the archway. All your sins are forgiven, um, and then they, want they can, despite having been cast onto Wisconsin, mm -hmm. out of heaven, because what happened was Matt Damon plays Loki, mm -hmm. who in Christianity is the god of death, or yeah. angel of death, he kills he, Yeah, he, he, Sodom and Gomorrah was him. Yes, all the different massacres were him, mm -hmm. and then Ben Affleck plays a... Um, Bartleby. Bartleby, plays Bartleby. And so Bartleby felt bad for him, convinced Loki, felt bad for humans, convinced Loki to sit down his, set aside his sword and mm -hmm. not slaughter anybody, and God cast them down to Wisconsin as right. punishment. And this, if they pass through the archway, all their sins are forgiven, they can go back to heaven. 
And the Cardinal is played by George Carlin. George Carlin. Fantastic. But the, yeah, this whole time, Azrael played by, wonderfully by Jason Lee. And he's got these three little henchmen, these little ugly yeah. little troll looking kids that are, you know, skateboarders and they yeah. play like street hockey. And um, he's influencing and helping Damon and Affleck get to the, the church. The uh, negotiating what ought to be the relatively simple matter of catching or staying on a bus. Oh, bus moss. Anyway, why, why, why should we fall victim to gravity when we can just as easily rise above? I mean, fly? We got wings, right? Fuck, let's use them. I wouldn't suggest that. You see, kids, you wouldn't want to look like a couple of fairies, now, would you? Look at this pimp. How'd you get out of hell? I told them I was coming up on a routine possession. Look, I don't have much time. If they figure out my ruse, they'll come looking for me. Hey, what's with bringing us in here? You two fucks are inches away from getting caught. Going around killing people. About to uncase your wings. Don't you have any idea what's going on? Well, we're going home. Oh, really? Are you so clueless as to think you can just waltz back into heaven? Why not? Everybody is looking for you, both sides, above and below. Orders are to terminate you on sight. Really? Why? Because you're pissing people off, that's why. <laughs> Word on the grapevine is that God's pissed off at your presumption, and I know Lucifer's pissed because you assholes might make him look bad by succeeding where he's failed so many times. So they're just gonna kill us? They're gonna try? That's why you have to travel incognito. Tone down your behavior, stay off their respective radars. Quit killing people, that's high profile. Oh, lighten up! I still can't believe they wanna kill us. Oh, believe it, boys. They've even got the last scion looking for you. Really? You're kidding. This is huge, man. Your reentry is a thorn in a lot of sides, and they'll stop at nothing. I mean nothing to prevent it. In the meantime, I suggest you find an alternate mode of transportation. If anything else comes up, I'll contact you. Thank you, Osriel. You're a true friend. I have to get back to the pit before they get suspicious. And remember, incognito. Archie, I get to the church past the arch, but... And it, 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 hilarious. There's so much more Everything. to it, but God, it, it's it, it's hard. It's it's like an episode of South Park. You can't explain it to me. Right. You just have to fuck. You have right. to go and see it because every little scene, like they're sitting in the airport, mm -hmm. and uh, Ben Affleck Ken's Matt Damon the, the news article mm -hmm. to read that is explaining, you know, it sets them on their way, and then he's like, "We're going home." Hands him the thing, and Matt Damon staring at him. He was like. And stop leering at me. People are going to think we broke up. Yeah. And so it's just like, it's those little moments like that. You, you know, you have to just watch it. Mm. It's fucking hilarious, but it's all so, so perfectly yeah. executed comedy that explaining it don't work. Uh, um, I can't praise the acting. Oh, yeah. The acting was fantastic all around. Um, and what was cool is we get Alan Rickman. Of course, yes. Alan Rickman, is, he's, who we sadly lost month ago maybe as of when this is going to be uploaded very recent very recent just the last week and he's just you know, he's just classically trained actor this was before harry potter and all that i mean yeah. he, he did die hard and he did probably a couple yeah. other you know dramas but he's so well respected and so well done i read a side story was um jason muse or what was it kevin smith basically told jason muse don't fuck this up you know we got alan rickman in it and um, he's like this big, you know, well-respected actor, and Jason Mewes went back, and he memorized the entire script. Yeah. And Smith was like, you know, he didn't. Jason was like, yeah, fucking, you know, read this, and I'll be this character, you be this character, and he nailed it. And Smith's like, what the fuck, what'd you do? He said, because I don't want to piss off that Alan Rickman dude. Yep. So you even get a very good performance from Jason, Jason Mewes of all Mewes. the people. Yeah. I, I, Affleck. And Matt Damon, I mean, you've seen them together a hundred million times. They, you already know they have established chemistry. They're mm. really likable as the villains here. Um, Chris Rock is funny as hell. Uh, he blew it He's out of funny it. as hell. One of my favorite scenes, I don't know, and he doesn't even say anything. I'm sure this was just his idea, you know, when he grew up knowing Christ back in the yeah. old times. Um, like there's Personal scene, acquaintances. Yeah, because, what was it, like... You really knew Jesus Christ? And he says, nigger owes me like 12 bucks or something yeah. like that. No, nigger owes me 10 bucks. Or some, yeah. some quantity. But, it, I mean, you could tell, because Kevin Smith, if he if someone has an idea, he lets them do it. I don't, you, it's, this shows how poor and, you know, from where Rock came from back at that time. Because when there's a scene of him sleeping on the, on the train, 
and he, he has no pillow, so he takes his shoe off and <laughs> sleeps out his shoe like a homeless person. Yeah, well, he but falls it, out of the sky, he's got no clothes. Yeah. So Kevin Smith gives him his his coat, and that's all he's got. Yeah. He's got nothing else. So well, he has to go through the trash and find shit. Yeah. I think there's a, a deleted scene of him going through the trash trying to find it could have been. some clothing to wear. But, and, and then, like I said, Kevin Smith and Muse, they have their chemistry. The scene where, um, because, you know, obviously Kevin Smith isn't an actor. Right. And he's obviously stated that's why he's the silent character because yes. he doesn't have to act. But he's really good at facial expressions. The scene where um, Chris Rock is proving that he knows everybody's secrets. Yeah. He says something to Linda Fiorentino. And then Jason Mewes is like, tell me something I nobody knows about this. He says, you masturbate more than any man on the planet. And he's like, everybody knows that. But when you do it, you're thinking of guys. Yes. And Kevin Smith just gives him this. <laughs> Perfect That's reaction. One of Joker's favorites. Hi, Joker. Hi, Joker. One of his favorite moments. We were just talking about that mm -hmm. one the other day. It, there's, uh, man, there ain't nothing wrong with this movie. Everything is aces. Put it this way. You know I hate poop jokes. You know yeah. I hate fart jokes. There's mm -hmm. a scene where they were, I believe it's Azrael, conjures up a demon made out of all the feces yeah. that, was, uh, that was from the people being crucified on the hill with Jesus Christ. I was okay with the shit demon. That tells you how much I love this movie. I fucking hated A Marion Ways to Die in the West where Neil Patrick yeah. Harris shits, shits in like hat. three top hats. This has a shit demon throwing shit at Kevin Smith and everyone else, and I'm okay with it. Yeah. That tells you how much I love this fucking film. And it's, it's uh, again, too, it's, you're talking about religion. Mm -hmm. And so it's very deftly handled. It was well researched, I felt. Well researched. And, um, you know, again, this is something where, man, you can really piss off a lot of people. He did, he did. He yeah. had a lot of people protesting. But not people who saw it. Right. People who actually saw the film were like, rubber poop monster. Can't be too upset. Well, there's the thing, what was it? In the very beginning, there's, there's some text in the beginning of the movie, and it's basically saying, this is a work of fiction, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. And then at the end, it says, even God has a sense of humor because he invented the platypus. Yeah, I remember that now. Yes. So that proves right there. He's saying this is just a work of fiction. This is a comedy. Yeah. It, I, I don't know. I don't know how you how you watch this film and get too upset about it. Apparently, people do. Or again, I think it's just people who didn't watch the film. Mm -hmm. But if you did watch it, well, because there, there's another story that I read, or Kevin Smith has told, or like all of his spoken words. Yeah. Tours. Um, what was it? A lot of these people were protesting dogma. Yeah. They didn't know who Kevin Smith was, so he actually snuck into the protest with like a "We hate Kevin Smith" sign and everything. Mm -hmm. and they had no clue. Yes. But yeah. And he actually got interviewed protesting his own movie mm -hmm. by the uh, the news media. So I love that dude. Yeah. But the, would uh, this is kind of like I think kind of after this. Have you seen his more recent? I've seen all stuff? the stuff. Yeah. What do you think of his more recent stuff? Um, I enjoyed the hell out of Tusk. For the most part. Okay, I've heard tell, but I, I should seen. make you watch that. Not as yeah. a prelude because I want you to hate it, but just to check it out. I, my wife, and maybe one more person enjoy Jersey Girl for what it is. Okay. It's a very sweet, cute movie. Um, yeah, overall, I don't think there's a movie his I don't at least enjoy. Yeah. 